Hey guys, it's Jake from Evolving Daily. Uh, been pretty busy, so I'm just going to try to put out a real quick video of something that I've been working with. Uh, so, all over uh, whatever Glock Facebook page or any kind of nonsense like that, guys are talking about how the uh, medical is too cumbersome to carry or there's no easy way to carry it, stuff like that. And I, I never leave home without medical. That's guaranteed. And you can carry it anywhere. I've never heard of anybody getting arrested for carrying a tourniquet or gauze or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's you're, you're wrong if you're not carrying medical. <clears throat> so, uh, I started playing with this about a month or so ago and haven't had any issues. Carried it every day for a month. It doesn't get in the way. I haven't had any issues with it. I've tried it up, down, middle, this and that. <clears throat> so it's a rat's tourniquet. Back out on the boot. Uh, if you wear pants and boots, or probably even without boots, it's literally on there. And to deploy it, you pull on the long end, and it's off. It's not super complex rocket surgery. It's just a rat's tourniquet wrapped around your boot, pretty much. I've tried putting the buckle or uh, whatever you'd call the this part, the turbo encabulator end. I've tried it on this side, out in the front. Um, haven't really noticed anything with it. I haven't like worn it on the side and hit it with my other foot or anything like that. Um, but to put it on, I put the loop end down first, and the first wrap I'll take this elastic and kind of smash that hoop down just so it like makes less of an imprint. On the second wrap, um, I come down and hit the bottom end of the turbo encabulator G hook series 9000, go over it there. Then, depending on how big you are and how thick your ankle is and stuff, on this next one, I put it in the hook with uh, the running end coming underneath so it kind of sticks out naturally. Then bring it around and just tuck it back in on itself. And I don't tighten it, but I just snug it down so it's out of the way. Bear with me. We're gonna try to do a close up of this here nonsense. So, first strap. Buckle down with the loop in against your ankle. First wrap, get the, uh, should use my red one for this. Get the loop going over the built-in loop. As she comes around, we're gonna go over the bottom. And on this here one, we're gonna move underneath that hook. That way your tail is out. Then, hang out. Bring it around, tuck her in, and that's sort of your draw handle right there. Peel it, pull it back. So, for rapid deployment of this here deal, grab your handle part here, pull it out, grab this, now you got your tourniquet, you can do your tourniquet and things. Let me just put her back on. That's how long it takes in the morning to put this old girl on. There you go. I've carried this for about a month. I've carried it tight, loose, lower, higher, um, buckle in different places, and haven't had any issues. I used it during force on force uh, at the fight a week or two ago. Deployed it a few times there. I've deployed a few times just training and testing with it, and I haven't had my pants get caught up on or anything like that. And I am a full grown man. Um, my calves, like if I pull my pants up, they pretty much get stuck right about there with a lot of pants. And uh, so my calves, ankles are about as big as they come, I would guess, or, or people wouldn't be wearing pants. And 
<clears throat> I haven't had any issues where it, you know, it gets real tight on my pants or anything like that. Unless you're wearing skinny jeans, which you're disappointing your ancestors if you're wearing skinny jeans. They didn't fight and die and hustle. So you could be wearing your girlfriend's pants. Quit it. But it works. Um, I'm going to play with it some more a few weeks. It's, it works good. I uh, forgot it's there a few times. Um, try it out. See if you like it. That way you have a tourniquet on you, which a lot of guys will say, I'll just use my belt or I'll take my shirt and I'll do this and I'll find me a stick. And you are wrong. 100% wrong. Go get training. Try the things you say you're going to do. Just test them out. Try it on yourself right now. Pause the video. Try it. Didn't work, did it? Exactly. So, uh, for carrying a rat's tourniquet, super easy. I've done it left and right, both different sides. So you can carry two, three, four, if you really wanted to. It works so far. Uh, I'll do an update video on down the road, trying some more. We'll try some goofy stuff with it, I guess, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, always carry medical. Always, always, always. There's no excuse not to. If you're sitting there thinking, well, but you know, no, absolutely not. Always carry medical. This is a super simple way, and it literally costs, it's the cheapest way you could do it, other than just stuff in your pocket or something like that, because you don't have to have some carrier pouch daily job that you bolt on your belt or something like that. Just wrap it around your damn boot. It's not a big deal. Uh, and if you're wearing shorts, I wear cargo shorts, so I'm going to stuff it in there. But anyhow, rambled on long enough. Try it. See if you like it. It's like 15 bucks for a rats or something like that. Buy one, wrap it on your boot, and go on about your day. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you found this any way useful, um, please share it so we can get some more people in here and get more comments and questions and stuff in the comments section. And we'll try to start exploring more parts of medical and mindset and guns and cake baking, underwater basket weaving, all that stuff. So like, share, subscribe, all that stuff will be here, there, and yonder. I do appreciate you watching, but remember you need to be prepared to thrive while others survive. Thanks.